Good morning, this is Vijay Franz K, and I'm checking out new Google Blocks. It's a new uh, art or design, design app from the makers of Tilt Brush. I'm assuming that is it. You know, the Google uh, VR laboratory or whatever it is. But uh, the different thing about this one is instead of um, making brush strokes or lines, Surprise, surprise, with blocks, you are playing with blocks and other um, 3D shapes. You know, in the whole 3D modeling biz, we might call these things primitives. No, don't save that. I already saved it a minute ago, but I'll try making something right here for you. And uh, it's kind of like Tilt Brush, and it's kind of different. And uh, that's cool, because it's sort of uh, got a palette on the back side of this. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's Mirror. That's cool. So I'll put a some Mirror item out there. It's like a disco ball or something, right? <laughs> Of course, I look inside it. The first thing, uh, one thing about VR is uh, so I can make a line, and that's kind of like Tilt Brush, except most of the lines in Tilt Brush are not a solid object. And this is a solid object that I'm making here, sort of like. Um, it's an extrusion, you know, it's extruding, and basically that is like a uh, toothpaste or something else uh, coming out of a tube. And so, see, I can go back and paint them a different color if I want. Paint this. Oh, I see, and it even divides it up into segments for me. So I could paint part of it one color and part the other color. And then what's really cool here is then with these pliers, you can stretch out um, the technical name for them is vertices, you know, the vertex of a point. But, you know, you could just think of them as edge points or something if you wanted to use a more common word for it. And I think, yeah, it lets me also uh, grab the face of it. I can, wait, can I extrude? Well, this is really powerful. And actually, with this, you could start doing uh, so-called box modeling, where, you know, you start with a cube, and you end up with a really detailed sort of 3D model. And then bit by bit, you add more and more stuff. Can I subdivide? Let's try this. This is pretty close to my first, basically my second try running the program, but just shows how easy it is to use. I like it already. I see. And with subdivide, I can see where that extra that extra line is going to go in there. So <laughs> pretty soon, if I'm not careful, I'll end up with ridiculously shaped polygons or something like that. But you should have fun with your modeling. This is obviously designed for regular people, not, uh, you know, professional 3D modelers or something like that. And I do know how to 3D model, but I wouldn't call myself really an expert at it. And so maybe I'll have a great time with this app. So see, I'm selecting the shape for the end of the extrusion. Oh, so it can be anything from a triangle to uh, whatever that is, like 10 sides or something. So. That's great, but obviously uh, the focus of 
blocks is to be able to make things with blocks. You know, I really like this. It's a simple beginning. Um, I'm sure they're going to add more stuff to it over time, but um, simple and yet powerful. That is a great combination of stuff. And um, that is also part of the reason why Tilt Brush has been so popular. I guess it is the best known VR art app out there. And uh, there are several others, of course. A lot of them. I'll try every VR art app that I'm able to try here on this channel. So if you have one, that I should be trying, hint, hint, you should tell me about it, send me the beta or whatever, or a uh, review copy, and I'll definitely look into it. Oh, how great, see? By using the, um, let's see, what tool is this? What is it called? The grab, wait, the modify tool, I can stretch out the cylinders that I made before, and uh, what am I making here? Maybe it's like a cactus man or something. And let's see. In the tutorial, they also told me how to copy an object, and I didn't pay enough attention. Oh, wait. So I use the grab, and then uh, what do I do to copy? What does that do, I wonder? Oh, well, there it is. Copy. Makes it larger, smaller, or flip it. And with a symmetrical object like this, or nearly symmetrical, you're not going to notice that much. But um, put that right there. And uh, maybe I'll keep copying. Finish my Cactus Man. Or whatever, whatever his name is, and make it stand out. Give him blue face details, and I'll draw that with the the stroke. So. Give him a smile there, and then put in some more shapes. Use a sphere, shrink that sphere down a bit. <laughs> That's great. And perhaps, perhaps he wants a green cone for his nose. So I'll just put that here. And because he's a cactus, put some spikes for hair going off to the side here. Then make them even more spiky by stretching the spikes out. <laughs> this is fun, you know? This app could be uh, great fun for kids or creative adults. Haven't lost their creativity. Look at that. Sideways there, I'll move the legs a bit. <laughs> it's almost as easy as building with real blocks. Or you might say it's easier than building with real blocks if you consider that with real blocks I can't go and just stretch it out that easily. You know, make my cylinders uh, longer at the, the drop of a hat or something. What else am I going to make? Sometimes you have too many possibilities. 
Now here is a torus, but normal people would call it a donut. So give him a donut ring or something. But one thing I like to do with these toruses, or maybe it's tori, is the plural of torus. I don't really know. <laughs> you can link the rings. You can loop things around other things, and that. That is one of the coolest parts of VR art, is that, you know, if this were a flat picture, I couldn't spin this around all over the place. It, it would be stuck from the single perspective of the usual artist, which is, uh, you know, the flat paint canvas. And you try and try and try to make that canvas look as three-dimensional as possible. But... It isn't, it's an illusion. But here, actual three dimensions, which does raise some of its own artistic questions of how to use that. But um, see, what else could I do with a sphere? Maybe, um, you know, you could even consider the sphere to be like a big thing of clay and then start start bending it out of shape and a lot of the other 3d art apps are vr art apps are kind of like this except most of them don't actually let you grab at the points themselves so it's nice here that I have direct, direct control over uh, the points or the faces here to be able to do with them what I want. And uh, I don't know what this is. It's starting to look a bit like a pig, isn't it? The snout, maybe these ears coming out of the side there. Bring the snout forward. <laughs> snout. It's a funny word. So here's a pig. Maybe his mouth down here. And green eyes for the pig. Actually, I'll give him white eyes. But the pupils of the eyes will be green. <laughs> and then... That looks a little weird, but oh well. Still early in the game here. First time I've, or the second time I've ever tried this app in a very short time. And now I'll use this to draw a smile for him. And stretch these polygons back in. Or polygons. What I really mean is stretch these vertices back in. If you use words like vertices, people will think you know what you're talking about. And uh, <laughs> all right. All right, one more, one more creature or something. haven't decided exactly what I'm going to make. Uh, 
I'll start out with I use a bunch of different blocks and then try and bend their edges to look like something. And I'll start with red blocks. Oh wait, I know what I'm making. Now that I see those blocks, So, more blocks off to the side. Who knows, maybe in a future version, there will be a way to join all of these blocks together. But right now, they're separate objects. So then, one right here, some more blocks down here. All right, then I'll take race, oops. Ah, I undid it, good. So just bring the eraser to here. Carefully erase the part that you want and not the parts that you don't want to erase. And so when I said blocks and then I was putting these red blocks up here, I thought a fox, <laughs> a fox made of blocks. So yeah, see, by taking the edge of that shape in there, sort of shaping his ears, and he has the nose there, maybe. his cheeks out a little bit or you know the way they have that the face shape like that not exactly right but not exactly wrong either so wonder what that noise means maybe i'm bending things too far it doesn't make sense And then the fox made of blocks needs some eyes. And we'll give him bright blue diamond shape eyes. And a black nose. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, you know, for an early try. And say I could grab, oops, grab this, these shapes and make them a little bit more together in some sort of way. But uh, it's not a bad collection of little creatures there, is it? And now I can save. So I'll save this and save it. And I will save locally. And I think I can log in with my Google account and then share it with everyone. So maybe I'll do that a bit later. And uh, I've noticed with Tilt Brush, they also have a new They have a new way to share your creations in an online library, as well as, uh, you know, just doing whatever you do with them. A lot of us like uploading our art to YouTube or other 
you know, channels like Sketchfab, which is uh, uh, Sketchfab, which is a website which lets you upload the models in 3D. And then people can people can look at your model from all angles and you know you're not limited anymore to being only able to it's a lot of fun you know it's like like building with real blocks except one advantage here is you can just stick the blocks through each other without worrying about uh the laws of reality <laughs> objects can go through each other so it's uh you know it's like dealing with a hologram and uh you know as future technology advances we are going to be able to model our art and other things with holograms that'll just levitate in front of our face we won't even need to wear uh, vr goggles in a few years, I'm sure it'll be. <laughs> they'll look back on this and think it looks primitive. But right now, it's uh, one of the coolest things that I've had a chance to try. So I was very interested in getting my VR set up as soon as I could uh, save up for it. And uh, as you can see from my controllers, I got the Oculus Rift and the touch controllers. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are using Vive and, uh, Google is about to, um, I think it's called uh, project daydream. They have a, a new VR platform coming out and wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you can use this right on there. So sort of stacking up these things as if, as if they were, were stacked on the surface. But anyway. <laughs> it's fun. It's like being a kid again, just playing with your blocks. I do have that one monologue about let them play with some blocks, which it's a good one. If, uh, you know, young people have a chance to build things creatively at a young age, hopefully that sort of creative problem solving thought process will remain with them for their whole life. I did a lot of art when I was a kid. <laughs> Doesn't really go together, does it? I guess when you just have the blocks, then it becomes most, most evident where the edges of everything are. People say, don't get bent out of shape about it. <laughs> and that's kind of what is happening here. Anyway, I don't know if this is really improving the situation or making it less good, but so enlarge this. I see this is the size limit. And at this limit, you can see that they actually have a bit of texture on there. It's not just uh, flat colors. It's 
like they were made of stone or maybe um, they were painted or something. You know, there's a little, oh, that's interesting. Show me when my controller is on the face of the object. These are called faces, of course. Not like your face, but... Um, but what, what if they were faces, right? <laughs> Got away from me there. Anyway. This is VJ Franz K signing out for now, and uh, I'll come back with some more with some more blocks after I use it for a while. But um, definitely a great app, and uh, it appears to be downloadable right now for free. So if you do have a VR setup. Might as well give it a go. And I'll bet that in the future they will allow you to perhaps export these into Tilt Brush or other uh, 3D art apps. And then you'll be able to um, paint your blocks or paint around them in a more complicated and interesting way. You know, I, obviously that's my imagination of a feature that they could or should have, but I don't know if it will appear or when, but, you know, the more apps I look at, you sort of get an idea of the kinds of things that people can or would do, so. <laughs> so this is VJ Franz K signing out for now. Um, please like this video if you like it. I hope that you like it. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more um, VR videos and also art and creativity. A lot of what I do is electronic music or, you know, making beats, as they say. But the thing about being creative is that if you are creative with one thing, then there's probably some more creativity in you that could be used for other things. That's the way I think of it. And if you are feeling bored with things, sometimes trying something new out is the perfect antidote for that. So then uh, I'll give him a nose here. Add a nose right here, pointing kind of down. Starting to look like a bird, isn't he? Maybe with a beak. 
modify this point, make it more pointy. Let's see what I can do here. Copy this out. So I'll use my grab, then I'll use my copy mode. Wow. Right. And then I have it and shrink it down a little bit. And it's a bird beak. And maybe I copy it again. <laughs> I keep thinking of more things I want to do before the end of the video. Come back and check my channel again soon. Like I said, please subscribe. I'm also starting to uh, be on Patreon as well. So if you like this type of thing or my other videos, please consider that because... It helps me afford more cool technology to demonstrate. There's always more gadgets that you want. Anyway, thank you for watching. BJ Franske signing out, taking a first look at Google Blocks. It's a great app. It's available for free right now, so you should download it.